Hey everyone, it's at Earth Collectors here. We are opening up some NBA Hoops premium stock. Uh, we have a uh, hanger box, a blaster box, and a cello pack to open up. Uh, and so we're going to do that now on the Bench Clear channel. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a really fun product. We've had a blast opening this stuff. And we've been able to find it, which of course is not the norm for most people so we're very fortunate to, to be able to open it i would say personally this is up there because we didn't really find much optic um this is up there with prism and mosaic for me yeah uh, in terms of yeah. the fun of opening so uh one of my favorite products of the year definitely rank it in the top three i liked optic we just didn't end up finding hardly any of it so yeah we didn't really rip much we, um, we had a drought where our vendor and you've heard the story many times where the vendor that was stocking our local Meyer stores was buying all the product so we couldn't buy any of it yeah until he was fired then yeah until he was fired it. right uh justin jackson vince carter Ooh. Ooh, is it show a dunking guy no kyle anderson those are cool i like those uh the lasers the lasers all right, get into the rack pack here. I do like how you can look at the team up above and yeah, then see cool. the logo and then get kind of excited if well, you see one of the big ones. We used to do that with Prism all the time. We'd like kind of slow roll it and be like, oh, yeah. he's got hair. Right, Who is right. It? Yeah, well, especially the Luca year. Yeah, the I Luca mean, year. Then you knew, once you saw that ball up there, you're like, there and it is. Kevin Porter rookie and a Duncan Robinson. Kyrie Silver, we've got a green and then a blue. Yeah, the blues are harder to pull, that's for Willard. sure. That's a good name. You read that upside down. Yeah. That's Ooh, awesome looking. That's a nice one. The Brown James prism. So that's got to be sought after. Got to be. That's yeah. awesome looking. That's not so, a uh, very cool card. Normal uh, pull. No, especially, that's... especially those inserts are really sweet looking. Yeah. I was hoping they'd be numbered, but. Well, yeah, the, okay. the blues and the reds are not The numbered. mojos are the ones that are numbered. Yeah. Uh, the colored mojos. There's actually a retail exclusive 101 and stuff in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see it says right here on the back of the box, numbered from 99 to 1, base mojo prism, gold mojo, and black mojo. So, Or base blue mojo, sorry, then uh, gold and black. So pretty cool stuff, assuming the golds are out of 10 and the blacks are one of ones. Yeah, I, ha I have seen people pull you one have of seen? as well. I was yeah. going to say, yeah, it's like really uncommon to pull anything. Number we pulled one numbered card, didn't we, out of this stuff? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Um, but I have seen people pull some one of ones and stuff, so pretty cool. I know James, Run Good Life, uh, go check out his channel. He's opened up a lot of this and has not pulled much of anything number-wise. At least he had it in the past. It's hoping that would be Keldon, but Quindary Weatherspoon Mojo. The, the, what's cool about the set is the variety of cards in here. You get the mojos, and then you have the scopes, and you know, obviously the silvers, and then you have blues, reds, greens. Yeah, I so. agree. It's definitely like the coolest part, um, and all the rookies as well. The inserts are really cool looking too. That's a cool looking uh, one too. Darren Fox, NBA City. All right, another silver. Thomas Bryant, Jonas Valanciunas. And Thon Maker. <laughs> we got it. We pulled some weird card of his. Then we pulled some Pulsar, or some that might really be hard. I think we did get a number. I think our numbered I card think that was, was. Thon I think Maker. I think it was Thon yeah. Maker. Um, like the only numbered Ouch. card we pull. Yeah. Anthony Davis, Giroux, Holiday, Jalen Noel, and Laker. Nope. J.R. Smith. Yeah, I can't ask for too many LeBron <sighs> James tough. in one break. Yep. Pretty tough. So far, blasters are very hit or miss. You either get a yeah. really good one, or you get a uh, this box had no one in it box. You know, right? It is. Yeah, the blasters are. If you find hangers or cello packs, I'd go for those over a blaster. Not because blasters are necessarily bad, but it just seems like the chance to pull something is seems more difficult out of them. Um. Tori Craig. I don't even know this. Do you know this guy? Yeah, I, don't I, know. Know. I don't know. That name is just not familiar to me. The bench player for the Nuggets. Yeah. Started a little bit and got hurt. Now uh, people can tell us that we should know who he is. Alex Caruso. He's kind of a fan favorite there in LA. Pretty cool. 
Definitely does not look like a basketball player. <laughs> no. Uh, Cody Martin, rookie, and a Holiday. Um, this would be Drew Holiday. There's three Holidays. The three Holiday I know. are all in the NBA together. Aaron, Aaron, Drew, and... Drew, and... Who's the uh, other? One other guy. Another Holiday. The other Holiday. The other Holiday guy. Iguodala, Ricky Rubio, and a Rui. Not bad. And then behind that, we have a silver Donovan Mitchell. Right now, like the second best team in the league, the Jazz. Yeah. Like 13 and 4, or 12 and 4 now. Pretty crazy. Yeah, they, yeah they're yeah they kind of like under the radar for they're most. They're very under the yeah. radar. They're very good, though. Tobias Harris. And there we go. Sweet. John Morant. Sweet. Never get enough Jaws. Yeah, uh, it's obviously just the base. Um, but hey, that's pretty good. Because they're hard to pull, John Morant. So, and there's that Moody. So, I'd say overall that blaster was decent. That was not the worst blaster, that's for sure. Um, let's see, those are just base cards. All right, let's get into this hanger box last here. Well, thanks so much for watching us on Bench Clear. If you haven't yet um, checked out the other channels that are on the Bench Clear network, please check them out. Lots of good videos. This was watching one uh, today that just came out about um, taxes and sports cards. So if you are a seller of sports cards, probably a good video to watch um, just to find out about taxes and when to pay them, how to pay them, uh, you know, when to pay them, obviously the deadline, but as in how much you make and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of good information there. Still have to finish watching that video, but um there's all kinds of great content on Bench Clear. All right, so last but not least, the hangers. And these hangers have been quite solid. They're, you know, obviously they're not all home runs, but uh, they have been pretty good. And then these are the ones you can get variations out of as well. So here is one rookie. And then Cameron Johnson, not bad. Um, Justin James, and you do get a lot of rookies out of these. You do get cool, like four to five rookies usually, so pretty good. Harrison Barnes, and behind that we have a Dwayne Wade. All right, let's see who our shiny, shiny silver is. It's a good team. Nope, Drummond. Nope, Drummond. I mean, good player, yeah, good just player. not, not um, one of the hobby. Uh, I guess that Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's guys. been absolutely balling out. Yeah. He has that, it. and then that's going to be a sought-after card just because of the green on green. I mean, that's not a high-dollar card, maybe 4 or $5, but um, that's pretty sweet. Still cool. Yeah. Here's PJ, PJ Tucker. So these are the purple discos. These are the exclusives you get in a hanger box, and the hanger boxes run, what, like? $20, Yeah, $17.95, yep. Lori Marketin, and, oh, yeah, here we go. Game. Yeah, Michael <clears> Porter <throat> Jr., tie. Yeah, Ty, if you're watching this. And then, last but least, a Gordon Hayward. All right, yes, and I did say last but least, but not least of all because we got another LeBron James. So we started off the break with a LeBron James, and we'll end it with a LeBron James. Gordon Hayward's actually been playing like insanely well this year. I know, I'm just joking. He's not a bad player. No. It's just that in the hobby, he is not a LeBron James. Not yet. No, but he is a good player. I mean, he's he having probably, a really uh, good year. If he had, like, a Prism Era card, he would probably be quite sought after right now. Yeah, yeah, because he's definitely playing really well. So but then again, there's other guys like C.J. McCollum, Bradley Beal. There's some guys that are still pretty under the radar price-wise in terms of their performance. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. There, it, sometimes it just takes a while for it to catch up, and other times it just never does. Yeah, like with Kevin Durant, it took like five years for people to start yeah. buying his stuff. It was crazy. So. Yeah, it's it's interesting to say the least. Yeah. I mean, even now with these rookies that are out with, um, I know it's contenders um, dra or prism draft, but uh, even so, like some of those rookies just don't really have much hobby love as of yet. But just wait. Eventually, if they have a breakout games when the actual yeah. NBA license cards come out, They'll, they'll be selling well. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite card was out of that break. Um, and stay tuned for more videos on BenchClear. We'll be posting those soon. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting.